Good day just for you. <laughs> Good day just for you crew and welcome to the vlog. That's what I should be addressing you. I just thought about that this morning. I should be I should be addressing you on this channel as just for you crew on the big channel YouTubers. What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. All right, so right now I'm just finishing up. It's 10 after uh, 10. That messed me up for a second. It's 10 after 10 and uh, I'm almost, or I finished editing. I just have to export it uh, as a movie clip and then I'll actually show you the settings because some of you guys are interested in the settings that I use in compressor to get it out onto YouTube. Um, and I don't do it from here and I think I've discussed this before. Some people say, oh, you can just uh, export it right from Final Cut Pro. Yes, you can but it takes just as long as compressor and you can't use Final Cut Pro while you're doing it. So I learned a long time ago that just export it as a movie clip. It only takes like a minute. If it puts it onto your desktop, you can drag it into compressor, start up compressor, have compressor running in the background and move on to your next project. Uh, if you export from Final Cut Pro, you can't use Final Cut Pro while it's exporting and it can take 20 minutes to half an hour to an hour, depending on how big the project is and your settings too. Uh, so right now I'm on my second coffee. Um, I think I made a mistake to somebody yesterday. I told them that their shout out is gonna be on tonight's video, but it's next Friday's video. And it's a person I don't wanna reveal right yet that suggested a certain type of burger toppings on my burger. So I have to email them back. Um, I'm gonna be shaving today. It's Friday and I need to shave this crap on my face. And um, yeah, so the meeting, I forgot to talk to you guys about the uh, business meeting I had, or not business meeting, my bank meeting. Uh, basically, I have my business account and I have my personal account and there's like Visa, Visa, line of credit, line of credit. And I just wanted to make sure, it's been a while since I talked to my bank and it's always good to do this like at least once a year because you might, there might be new um, features or new types of accounts that actually could save you money. So it's good to keep in contact, especially when you have a business with your business manager. And uh, so we discovered that my line of credit is costing me uh, $15 a month. And if I can just pay off what I owe left on my line of credit and not use it, uh, and cancel the line of credit, then I'll save 15 bucks a month, which is $15 a month. Uh, and then I can actually add on to my bank account an overdraft protection. So if I did write a check, and I, it can be like up to $5,000. So I could write a check for $1,000. Let's say I don't have any money in my bank account by accident. Uh, I ran dry. And then I have s stupidly wrote a $500 check. It would allow the check to go through. The bank would basically lend me the money, pay that person the $500. I would go into the overdraft protection. Uh, and then I would get dinged $4 for going into it. And then I would be starting getting charged interest if I left it in there for a long period of time. So that's probably the better way to go than having a line of credit. I'm not gonna be buying any large items. I used to have the $15,000 line of credit because of the type of videotaping I was doing back then with the big camera, I was buying large, expensive pieces of equipment and I needed that line of credit to buy those things and then use them immediately to start making money uh, through my business. So at this point in time, I don't do that kind of thing anymore. So I don't need the line of credit. There you go. That's what happened at the business, uh, the bank meeting. Okay, I have to finish this up. Quit bugging me. And we're back. That's cool, eh? Uh, so I'm gonna drag the file that from exporting from uh, Final Cut Pro, I'm going to drag that into Compressor. It will open eventually. And I have a bunch of preset um, settings. So I have, if the video is short and I did a really good job on it, then I'll export it as a high quality video. Uh, most of my videos, again, it's all about trying to keep the size down so it can upload better, but try to keep the quality as best as possible. So my vlogs are my vlogs. There's nothing super creative about them. Uh, so I, I created a preset called, um, where is it? HD, HD 180p 
to YouTube, low, medium quality. And again, I, I played around with a bunch of different, uh, I'll open that up. Let's see if I can read this out to you. So, uh, there's a little button. Oh boy, this is not good. So there's a button here called encoder. Then video settings is the most important thing. I have it on H264, 30 frames a second. I could probably drop that down, uh, but I, I've discovered that just bumping it under medium keeps my vlog files to around 500 meg. Uh, what I could do too is I could try, uh, I have that other program called handbrake i could try that you know what let's try that today um just to see so i'm going to cancel this out just to see what the quality difference is because handbrake but handbrake has a whole bunch of settings in it you can do so many things with handbrake it's unbelievable but I'll, i'm going to try uh one time uh with handbrake and have handbrake because handbrake definitely does do a great job and it also turns it into MPEG-4. Um, I'm, I'm scrambling in my brain right now. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's let's try it. Let's give it a shot. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it both ways. I'll do one through handbrake. So I'll find my desktop eventually and then I'll grab 303 and that's handbrake. So it loads it up. I'll turn it into an MPEG-4. Uh, it is H.264, and then you, this slider here, if I slide it this way, it makes it really crappy. Uh, and sliding it up the way makes it really good, but the file size is big. This is the preset destination, which is not destination, but it, this is whatever it is. The RF is at 20. This is what it's set to do every single time you throw a video in here. And, it's, and it will put it back to my desktop. So let's let that run. Uh, and when it's done, I will do it on, in the compressor as well if I have time. And then we'll see what the size difference is and the quality difference be between both of them. If Handbrake does just as good a job and it's much smaller uh, size, um, then obviously I'll use that because then I can upload it to YouTube faster. And I think when I do my other videos, it's still a MOV, uh, which you can upload to YouTube but I think YouTube takes longer to prepare it for people to watch when it's an, an MOV. I'm not sure, don't bet on it, but I think that's the way MPEG-4 is a faster processing time for YouTube, I believe. Let me know. Sunny, is it bath time? You gotta clean that disgusting, dirty brother of yours. Oh, no kidding, eh? Shake the head and move on. Good girl. Do you feel cleaner, Louie? Do you? Sam also wants to say hello. Say hello to the crew. Can you say hello to the crew? Crew. Just for you, crew. Yeah? Can you see it? Wanna go see the fish? Okay. All right, let's see what the fishy are up to today. Where are you, fishies? There you are. Well, that one's ready to pop. That's the mommy right there. She's gonna have her babies. One unfortunate thing with uh, guppies is the other guppies will follow the mother around and as she's having babies, they will eat them. It's not a good thing, but I guess that's part of life in a fish tank. And that's why you're supposed to put lots of grass and plants in a guppy tank, not just because it looks pretty, but it actually protects the babies. They can hide. And they obviously, we've had this fish tank for, I think over 10 years and we've never bought any new fish so they've been repopulating themselves so the system works and uh, that's just the way it goes in the fish tank of guppies all right so while my computer is doing those things and right now I'm starting up the computer or Final Cut Pro once again to do the 
um, subway video for tonight. I'm a little bit behind the time right now. I actually put away my coffee stuff, throw my coffee grounds into the composter. Look at that composter, yummy. I'll throw that up there for later, get that ready. These are the batteries, oh look what I did. These are the batteries for my big camera. I'm charging them up for tomorrow night. So I'm all ready for tomorrow night. Uh, make sure my coffee maker is off. I leave it open for a bit just to air out because it gets all this condensation in there from when it was brewing. Uh, so from there I grab a glass of water and uh, yeah. I drink about three to four full glasses of water and these are about 16 ounce glasses. Oh, I forgot to show you I'm wearing uh, Jeff from Gojo Media's uh, channel. Check out that shirt. He bought one of mine, so I bought one of his. Again, I've been I've known Jeff for a very long time. Uh, YouTube buddy, we've been through a lot together. All right, so now I am right now getting stuff off my iPhone that I shot. Uh, for the subway video, I'm moving them into my Final Cut Pro, my Final Cut Pro project, and uh, just give me a heads up what I do. This is my process, not every day, but it's one of my processes. And I try and get this done as fast as possible so I can jump on my bike, burn some calories because the weekend's coming. Sam was looking at me like, "Dude, it's time to go for a walk," and I'm like, "Okay." So here we are. Out for our walk. Sam's doing a little mountain climbing. Dude, you're gonna get off there. Come on up. Silly. Doesn't even have his rock climbing shoes on. How does he expect to do it? Well, I went to go look for mail because I'm expecting a specific letter and it's not there. Now I have to wait till Monday. Dang nabbit. I hate that. So I pretty much finished the subway video. I just have to uh, do the final touches, make sure I didn't spell anything wrong, and uh, then I'll upload it and I'll be all good to go. So let's get back to work. All right, it's 2.40 in the afternoon. I'm trying to finish this up. I just realized uh, I should take out um, a suggested video and put the word announcement because I'm asking people to come over to my vlog channel and check it out. The rest are all bloopers and I'm just gonna stick with that. Uh, I just kind of discovered in the last little while that putting too many clickable things at the end of your video is um, a mistake. Uh, it's best to focus on one or two things possibly. Like I usually have one or two videos here and then my vlog link. So I think I'm gonna start just putting one link there and a vlog link there because I need to get more people over to my vlog channel. And that's that. So uh, I think I'm all done this video and Megan's just coming home. And somebody needed a passer. All right, let's get busy. Time for a bike ride. Just started, and uh, Katy Perry is helping me out. It's time for happy birthday shout outs. So, today, on what day is it today? It's time to do. All right, guys, it's time to give everybody birthday shout outs on March for March 6th. So, who is selling the break? Who is celebrating? It's time for birthday shoutouts for March 6th. So who is celebrating who is celebrating their birthday today? It is John A, Alberto E, Harry F, uh, Tony B, Jop A, Uncle Edward. It's my Uncle Edward's birthday. Happy birthday. Love ya. Uh, Eric H. Uh, Marvin T and Tony P. Those are all the people that are celebrating their birthdays. Have a great birthday. The best birthday is a Friday birthday. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. Go out in the town and paint it red.